Hey reviewer, Jack here. Today I'm going to do a top 10 games that I really regret not finishing. To qualify in this, I must have started a game, but not have finished it. And every time I look back at it, I regret not playing it. For it to be reasons I can't play it anymore, reasons I can't play it anymore, reasons that it's... For this top 10 list, I'm not going to have an honorable mentions list because later on I'm going to have another top 10 games that I regret I have not finished list and I'll, I'll keep them a secret. But for right now, these are the 10 that I currently regret as of March 2014. Number 10. The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Starting this list off is The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Though not one of the best of the Zelda franchise, it is one that has caught my attention. The reason that I have yet to beat this game is because my little sister accidentally deleted my profile, thus forcing me to restart at the beginning. I'm willing to replay it now, but my DS's right bumper isn't working. Don't worry, Megan. Still love you. Number 9. Kingdom Hearts Recoded, though I'm informed is the weakest of the Kingdom Hearts franchise, is still fun. Even though it's a hash of the first Kingdom Hearts game, the story is still essential to the Kingdom Hearts storyline. But alas, that dreaded right bumper on my DS is broken, preventing me to finish the story. Number 8. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Yep, another Kingdom Hearts game. Chain of Memories comes after the first game and before the second. Upon finishing the game, I stumbled upon the second half, which I have yet to finish. Excluding the right bumper problem, I messed up. While going through a door, I used a card I shouldn't have used and, long story short, I couldn't progress. Given the option to reset and start over, I decided to postpone it. Number 7 Scourge Hive Scourge is one of the first DS games I got when I got my DS. It might be a ripoff of Metroid, but I played this game first. If you have a DS and looking for a good space game, look no further. Once again, the right bumper is preventing progress. Number 6 Jurassic Park Sorry for the lack of video game footage. I currently cannot record my Sega Genesis. Jurassic Park is a great game, showing that there are better Sega Genesis games than its Super Nintendo counterpart. Reason why I cannot beat this game? Inexperienced. Number 5 Pokemon. Of all the Pokemon games I have, I have yet to finish a single one. I have come close to finishing Sapphire, but I cannot get past the Elite Four. When going back to replay and fight the final four, I can't. It's almost as if these Pokemon aren't mine, but my past. And next thing I know, I'm back at the beginning, picking up starter Pokemon again. Number four. The Legend of Zelda. Of all the Legend of Zelda games that I haven't beaten, this is the one that I regret the most. I originally started playing with a walkthrough, but decided to restart without a walkthrough. What makes this one stand out from all the rest, this one is more of a Zelda game than Ocarina of Time, in my opinion. But that is another story for another time. Number 3. Werewolf. The Last Warrior. Is there problems with this game? Yes. Is it fun? S somewhat? No, not really. So why does it rank so high on the list? I originally planned on reviewing this game, but since I'm not skilled enough, I couldn't finish. So I couldn't review it. Give it time. 
I'll review it. This is a promise. Number 2 Sonic the Hedgehog 2 One of my first Sega Genesis games, Sonic 2 is a great game that's superior than its first one, in my opinion. But alas, I got stuck on the second to last level, wasting time and lives, I couldn't find any way out of that level. I found the beginning multiple times, but not the end. Number 1 Super Mario Brothers. If you've seen my first video, you would have seen this coming. I can go on and on about why I regret not beating this game, from wasting hours as a kid, to the shock of my dad's face when I told him I have yet to beat this game. Super Mario Brothers takes the cake and crown of THE game I regret not beating. And those are the top 10 games that I really regret not finishing as of March 2014. To be honest, I wanted to make a separate list of other games that maybe I've started but not finished. Uh, games that I just can't beat. Just, there's a lot of lists I could have went for, but to sum it up, it's games that I regret I have not finished. I want to do a runner-up list about all these games, the games that didn't make it. But those are for another top 10 video games that I regret not finishing for another time. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it helps me out. Put it in the comments section down below. Um, give me like a top 10 list of games you guys have yet to beat, or even a top 10 list of games you regret not beating. Leave something in the comments letting me know you guys seen the video, stay to the end. And if you enjoyed, Check out some other video of mine. You guys might like my first video right here. Okay, maybe not. It hasn't been this good. Or my last video right here. Again, choices. You have a choice of picking one. Your choice. So, I'll leave you at that. Take care, you guys. I'm out.